So you know how everybody jokes about having studied at the school of hard knocks or having gone through the school of life? Well, I'm one of those people too. And as I've lived and as I've learned and as I've grown, I've decided that, you know what, all of these lessons that life is teaching me, surely there's got to be a way to put those things in practice and to share them as well. So stick with me in this video as I share with you from the school of hard knocks, from the school of life, and I share with you just about living and learning and what life has taught me. for watching this video. My name is Rachel Baskin and I'm the creator of the blog Dents in My Crown, a motivational blog geared towards empowering women to live purpose-driven lives. Thank you so much for letting me connect with you in this video. I love doing these YouTube videos. I love blogging. I love doing podcasts as well. So you notice the mic here. That's because I take the audio of my YouTube videos and package them as a podcast. So if you're listening to the audio right now, thank you so much for choosing to download and listen. It is absolutely amazing for me to be able to sit here and just connect with you guys and share with you a bit of what's on my mind and heart with the hopes that it will encourage and bless you as well. So with all of that introduction aside, let's dive right into the topic of this video, which you've seen from the title. I've called it Living and Learning. So what does that mean? What am I talking about in this video or in this podcast? Um, I do apologize for the jingling of my earrings, especially if you're listening on the, on the podcast. I think that might get to be annoying. So let me actually take these off. My apologies. I was trying to look cute. I'm so excited about the afro that I'm sporting today. If you're watching this on YouTube or if you're actually listening to the audio on the podcast, um, I'm so excited about my hair that's in an afro today. And I'm like, yes. And so I put on these big dangly earrings, but it's making a noise. So coming back to the topic um, at hand, which is living and learning and why did I choose this? And so I decided um, to make this video or to make this podcast because I've been getting a lot of um, questions from you guys asking me, where do I get the motivation or the inspiration for Dents in My Crown? I've been getting that question um, from a few people. Some people have, um, you know, DM'd me or sent me an email or whatever. And so I decided, okay, well, let me answer um one of the biggest questions that I'm getting, right? Or the biggest question that I'm getting at the moment. Um, and so the reason why I made Dents in My Crown is because I feel like it's tough being a woman. We live in a day and age where the media and society has a lot of opinions and thoughts about what it means to be a woman and how we must carry ourselves and how we ought to be and all that jazz. So it can be difficult. And so I decided for me personally, when I look back on my journey of coming into womanhood um, and how difficult it was and some of the challenges that I had as a little girl, um, I decided that, you know what, I feel like through having um, gone through certain life experiences and through having grown up, I just feel like I cannot be the only woman out there or the only girl out there who has had some of the, the questions and the issues and wrestling with things like, am I really beautiful? What does it mean to be beautiful? And all of that stuff. And so I decided, you know what, I want to create a space where we as women, we can speak into these issues and mainly just encourage women to know that, you know what, just as you are, you're beautiful, you're perfect, you don't need to change a thing about you. God did not make a mistake when he made you, you. So that is something that, um, really pushed me to make dents in my crown and I was pretty um pretty nervous about starting it too if I'm honest with you because I'm no expert like I have no PhD no doctorate degree I don't have a university degree I'm nobody special really so who am I to be sitting here in this video to be telling you that hey you're this that and the next thing you know and so you know, being pretty nervous about starting to make these videos or the podcast or, you know, YouTube and blogging and whatever, because I'm not some kind of professional expert. All I am is just a simple girl with some common sense. But I thought to myself, you know what, 
Um, there have been women in my life who have been gracious enough to impart truths on me to help mold me and encourage me and impact and put worth into my life and surely I can pay that forward too. I can never repay the women who have been in my life from my mom to my sisters to friends. I can never repay them for the kindness that they've shown me and the lessons that they've taught me but I can certainly pay it forward. So dents in my crown is me paying it forward, right? Um, so now to answer the question, um, where does my motivation and my inspiration come from for dents in my crown? It really just does come from life and from observing the things that go on in life, in my life. And I thought to myself, if there are certain things, certain issues that I'm struggling with, I think there might be certain issues that we as women struggle with. And as I share with you some of the knowledge and some of the truths that have been imparted onto me, things that really help me in my life to um, to live empowered and, and, and emboldened, if that is even a word, um, if these things have been shared with me and they've been helping me and they benefit me and they form a lot of my life, surely they can help someone else too. So again, that's how Dance in My Crown has come to be. That's why I make these videos, that's why I blog, that's why I do the podcast, that's why I do all those good things, right? And so the three biggest truths that have really made a huge impact in my life, which is actually really the bulk of this video, the three truths that have really shaped my life that I want to share with you and those are the three thoughts that drive dense in my crown is basically the first one is that you're beautiful. The second one is that you're not defined by your mistakes. And the third one is that you're created for a purpose. So let me break those things down for you, right? So the first one is that you're beautiful. And it sounds so like, duh, you know. But it's not that obvious or it's not that intuitive because we as women, I think we struggle with that. Maybe it's just me and I shared with you guys a bit about my story. Um, and if you haven't watched the video or listened to the podcast or seen, um, read the blog or whatever, I'll try um, post links to that, whether it's on YouTube or um, on the podcast or wherever, um, for you to be able to hear a bit about my story. But I'll sum it up for you a little bit here. I basically was that girl who never got asked out on a date, was super cynical about love because um, I hadn't seen a good example of what good romantic relationships can be like, what good healthy marriages look like. And I felt inferior because I felt like I did not measure up to what I thought the standard of beauty was, which I said to you before, it was my mom and my sisters and just in general, women, you know, when you look at women, all the airbrushed models that we see in, in um, magazines or on TV or whatever, that was my understanding of beauty. And of course, I didn't measure up to that. When I was younger, I was... Um, I would say I was more of a plain Jane, really, especially if you compared me to other women, which I don't think you ever should. I don't think you should ever compare your looks to someone else because you look exactly like you and you are the most beautiful you that there is, right? But I would compare myself to other women and, of course, feel like I didn't quite match up you know i wasn't as light-skinned as my sisters i wasn't as thin i wasn't as pretty i wasn't as whatever whatever you know so that defined a lot of how i viewed myself i would define myself a lot by who i wasn't as opposed to who i was and so being a young girl and a teenager was a struggle <laughs> If I'm quite honest with you, I hated being a teenager and I would never want to go back to being a teenager just because I struggled with those questions so much, defining myself by everything I wasn't instead of embracing me for who I am. And so who I am is I'm loud, okay? It doesn't sound like that, but I am loud, especially when I get going. Um, I can be stubborn slash tenacious. <laughs> I like to think that there's a good side to that. Um, I'm funny, I'm quirky, I'm off my head, I'm a straight talker too, like if I think it, I will say it. Um, and that's a good and a bad thing because sometimes I hear things as I'm saying it and it's like, oh, I don't think I should be saying that, <laughs> you know. Um, 
but you know for better or for worse I am me and I am the best me that there is and I can own that and be comfortable in my own skin and rock out as being me I don't need to compare myself to anybody else I if in fact if there is anybody else that I should be comparing myself to it is to me to try and keep bettering me to try growing me to try being the best version of me that I can be right so that's the one thing um and through struggling with that so much and finally coming into womanhood and realizing that you know what I am who I am and I can be comfortable in that I just thought to myself that you know what I think I'm not the only woman who needs to hear that that who you are and who God has made you to be you don't need to apologize for that you don't need to make excuses for that you just need to embrace it soak it all in and run with it so that's one of the biggest messages that I love to drive home through dance in my crown and if you've watched any number of videos or listened to podcasts or read the blog you know that I harp on that almost every single post that you're perfect just the way that you are and then point number two is you are not defined by your mistakes now let's be real everybody has a past everybody has baggage everybody has something that they are not proud of me included when I was a teenager I was full of rubbish okay I used to do things that I shouldn't do I was a handful I was a difficult kid um, part of that was because of the issues that were going on in family and part of that was just because you know stubborn slash tenacious I was more on the stubborn side sometimes and so it made growing up difficult and because I didn't always want to listen to the advice that people were telling me that was for my own good um, because because I was just a stubborn, stupid teenager, I made some mistakes and um, there are things that I was not proud of. And again, I defaulted to doing what I had always done, which was defining myself by everything that I wasn't. And so I was not a child who made her parents proud. I was not someone who was proud of me and the life that I had and the things that I'd done because I'd hurt so many people, I'd offended so many people, and I'd made so many mistakes and I was so ashamed and so embarrassed and so humiliated almost by myself, you know what I mean? Like, um, and then of course it doesn't help when you've made mistakes and they're very public failures and everyone kind of can see your mistakes um and for you know some of the things that i did which is i don't know we'll talk about that in another video because that's a whole other you know video slash podcast right um but with some of the mistakes that i made i was I had such a low self-esteem because of those and thought to myself, wow, I, I cannot amount to being much because I'm such a failure. I've made so many mistakes. But here's the thing that I've come to realize. Mistakes are a good thing if you can use the lesson learned to make yourself better. One of, the, one of my favorite sayings that I made up, and I hope it does not sound arrogant, but I like this saying because I find it's very true. And it is a lesson hardest learned is one least forgotten. And I know that because I learned a lot of lessons the hard way. <laughs> and so because of that, um, there are lessons that I'm least likely to forget, right? But now here's the thing. So you, whether you learn the lesson the hard way or the easy way, the question is what do you do with the lesson that you've learned? Do you apply it? Do you apply the truth, the wisdom that you've learned and therefore go on to make better choices? Or do you still choose to be stubborn and stupid and um, keep making the same mistakes again, right? So it's one thing to learn the lesson. It's another thing to apply the lesson that you've learned. And I think when we apply the lessons that we've learned, that's when we're actually wise. A man I really respect once said to me that wisdom is applied knowledge. And that really got me thinking because it's like you can be you can be real knowledgeable but not wise if you never put to use the things that you have learned. And that was one of the biggest things that just sunk in for me is that wisdom is applied knowledge. And if I've made all of these mistakes and I've learned a lot, then surely I can use the lessons I've learned and apply them in order to make myself better. You feel me? So in applying that wisdom, in applying, well not wisdom, but in applying the lessons that I've learned, um, that's part of how we have dance in my crown, where I look at the mistakes that I've made and what it's taught me and how it's grown me, stretched me, challenged me, pushed me, pulled me, molded me and strengthened me. 
I just want to share that with you. Like I said, it's not because I'm knowledgeable, it's not because I'm some kind of expert, because I'm not, okay? I do not have it all together. But I know a little bit about it a little bit. Like I said to you, I'm a simple girl with some common sense, and I wanted to share from you guys from the mistakes that I've made and the lessons that it's taught me, and hopefully it will help you to therefore go on and be better and wiser and stronger, right? That's my hope for you. And then the last thing is that we were created for a purpose. I honestly believe that no one's life is a mistake, regardless of the circumstances and the situation around your conception, right? Um, you may have been an unplanned pregnancy, but you are not an unplanned creation. God had a purpose and a vision and a thought in mind when he made you, regardless of how it is you have come to be, you know? And because you have a purpose, I believe that you can therefore live empowered knowing that, you know what, I'm here for a reason. I can ch choose to achieve my goals and my dreams and to live the best life that I can, to make my God proud, to make myself proud, to make the people in my life proud because I'm not just some random cosmic explosion that happened. There was intentionality with when God made me and so I can be that woman and be the best me and just rock out at being me to live my life with purpose on purpose you know what I'm saying so yeah that's that's a lot of um, the thought and the heart and the reasoning behind Dance in My Crown. And like I said, I wanted to make a video to address that because I feel like that's a lot of what I get asked. And so to satisfy your curiosity, let me try to say this again, to satisfy your curiosity of where I get um, my motivation and my inspiration from. It's basically that, just, you know, having gone through the school of life and having learned a couple of things, um, I've come to realize that I think I'm not the only one who deals with these issues and surely I can share something that can help bless and motivate and encourage someone. So that's why I do what I do. That's why Dance in My Crown exists. And I really hope that it's a blessing to you, that it helps you, that it encourages you. And yeah, that you really just get something out of this. So to that end, I would love to be able to hear your feedback, your thoughts, your comments. Um, with regards to Dents in My Crown, I hope that it brings you value and worth and I would love to hear your thoughts and feedback on that. Are there any other questions that you have for me that you would like me to answer for you? Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I do have a little bit of common sense and I can share that with you. So don't be shy to hit me up on social media, Dents in My Crown, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, right here on YouTube. If you're listening on the podcast, now you know where to go find me. And of course, check out my blog, Dents in My Crown, Dot com. That is where all the magic <laughs> in inverted commas happens. But I really hope that it blesses you and it encourages you. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, I hope that you'll like the video. So if you like the video, then thumbs up the video. If you like the channel, subscribe to it. And if you've subscribed to the channel, hit the notification icon so that you can know every single time I upload. But until we connect again, I will meet up with you in either the next blog post, podcast, or YouTube video. Thank you so much for giving me your time.